Hello and welcome back to the Property Pilot quick property market update today. Today we're talking specifically about house prices in the UK in January 2023. So I'm not sure if any of you have seen the news but Halifax has published that house prices fell by 1.5% in December 2022 and if we look back at November prices fell by 2.4% again according to Halifax. Now this is the fourth consecutive month where house prices have fallen and when you add those four months together we're looking at roughly about a 5% decrease across the UK. Now the thing about this is that there are certain areas in the UK where house prices thus far have fallen by more than 5%. For example the North East has experienced house prices decreases much higher than this figure. So it's really important that you're at one with the area you're investing in, you really understand the area, you understand the movements in property prices. So as we stand in January 2023, the Bank of England base rate is 3.5% and that's the highest base rate we've seen in 14 years, pretty crazy, right? Now of course we're expecting this to be further increased in 2023 and let's come on to the future and we're going to talk about what Halifax expects to happen, also about what other corporations expect, but more importantly, what me and other property investors think may happen in the future. So Halifax have said that they expect house prices in general to decrease by 8% this year in 2023. Personally, I think prices will fall slightly more than that, and I'll come on to that very shortly. Now, Erston and Young, they're predicting that property prices will fall by about 10% within the 12 to 18 months to follow. Again, a lot of these corporations, a lot of these banks and consultants think that prices are going to drop by 10%. This seems to be the kind of general figure that everyone's putting on it. But if we look back and we look at history and we look at previous crashes and recessions and financial crises, well, in fact, these forecasters and guesses have been so wildly wrong, so wildly, wildly wrong. And obviously, with the benefit of hindsight, we're able to see, you know, actually what this change was. Now, personally, I think prices will fall by about 20%. We've already seen a 5% decrease so far, so I'm expecting at least another 15%, and that's what I'm forecasting in my figures. But I could be wrong. Prices could fall more than that, or they could fall less than that. And, you know, this is the beauty about property investing. Only a few will correctly guess this, and we'll be looking back in five years' time and see who those winners actually are. So, on to the killer question. And I get asked this question every single day. In fact, on Friday in my WhatsApp group, we were talking about it, you know, should you buy property? You know, I get people asking me, Mark, are the short the market's falling? Should I be investing in property? Maybe it's not the right time, right? Well, my answer to that is this. If you're buying below market value, so you're protecting yourself if prices do fall, well, let's face it, they will fall, then why wouldn't you buy a property? If the opportunity has presented itself and it hits your strategy and criteria and you're buying below market value, well, again, if prices fall by 15% and you're still in positive equity and the, and the figures still work for you, then why wouldn't you go for it? Because that opportunity may not be around in 6, 12, 18 months time. Another really important point to note is the opportunity cost of holding those funds in the account. Because if those funds are sat there doing more or less nothing for 6, 12, 18 months, well, again, that's costing you money. Those funds could be invested, earning you a rental return. So that's my answer. If you're buying at the right price, and what I mean by the right price is a below market value price, which if you're factoring in prices falling, which they are, and you're still making very good returns, and you're in positive equity, and there's a nice margin of safety, then why wouldn't you buy now? That's my answer to the question, and I'm perfectly actively looking to buy now. I agreed on a, on a property transaction about two or three weeks ago, and I'm really looking to build my portfolio, especially within this time frame, as there are less investors and less demand in the market and I want to make the most of it. For those of you that haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do consider subscribing. YouTube tells me the majority of people watching this channel are not subscribed. Do me a favour, it does mean a lot to me. And for those of you that follow me, you'll know that I publish with videos on a Tuesday and Thursday at two o'clock every single week, so stay tuned for those and I'll see you later.